Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to Herbal Tarot. I know it has been a while since I posted. Uh, initially, I was just kind of feeling it out to see how it goes. And it's been it's been some months, probably almost about nine months, I think, since I posted last uh, during the Herbal Tarot. Uh, I was kind of skeptical about continuing on at first for many reasons. And then I decided after doing readings for my family and my friends that it was something that was necessary. Every time I did a reading for one of them, it resonated with them. And I know that this will resonate with you as well. Every reading may not resonate with you to your core, but there will be one that you can completely relate to. And the deck that I'm using is called the Herbal Healing Deck. When I saw this, I went into like a little novelty shop. You know, those stores that sell sage and crystals and stones and cute little um, metaphysical, like a metaphysical store. Uh, I went and saw them and I have been looking for herbal uh, tarot cards. I didn't know what kind. I'm very new to tarot. However, I'm not new to herbal healing. So when I saw this one, it was almost like, it was jumping up and down saying, pick me, pick me. So, you know, when I saw it, my first reaction was, ooh, you know, I just knew it was for me. So I had to get it. And I just wanted to start sharing with you, you know, plant medicine is, it's an ancient shamanic ritual that our ancestors used way before we were here in this day and time. You know, people talk about tree huggers, but people hug trees because there's so much knowledge and healing and wisdom in a tree. Think about how long a tree has been in your neighborhood, 10, 15, 25, 30 years. The bigger the root, obviously, the more knowledge that it holds. Think about the cartoons and the movies that you see where the tree is the knowledge or even the emblem, the tree of life. There is so much life to come from a tree. It bears so much fruit, so much medicine. We use trees to build our homes. We use plants to build huts. We use plants to make our clothes, to eat. Even in modern day pharmaceuticals, they have the main component. It comes from a plant. So plants have a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge and just spiritual healing and plant medicine. So that's why I chose this deck and I had been doing readings for people close to me and it resonated, like I said, so much that I decided to keep going with it. You know, I can't be concerned about the skeptics or the people who feel like I'm worshiping the devil or, you know, all these things that religious people like to say because unfortunately they're just stuck in a place. They're stuck in this box and so they just, you know, it's not in their box. So... <laughs> That's why, you know, they don't really believe in it and they talk about what the Bible says and all of that stuff. I'm not concerned about that anymore. So at this point, I'm only pulling one card. I will start doing personal readings very soon where we can pull cards based on your past, your present, your future, different things like that. The more I learn about tarot, the more I'll be able to do for you. But I just decided to start um, pulling for the collective, you know, for... For those of you that are here and you believe and you know that that, that answers come in many different forms, um, you know, when, we, when we're seeking the answer for something, it's not just going to knock. This is it knocking on your door. When people say, what do you think somebody's just going to knock on your door? This is it. If you were drawn to this video, it's because you knew that something, there was something here that your spirit needed. I already shuffled the cards before I started. I saged and I smudged and I... I prayed on them, so we're just gonna get started and I'm just gonna pull from a part of the deck and then I'll read out of this book for you what the card means. I have a slight visual impairment, so bear with me on the reading part. <laughs> it's not that I don't know how to read, I just, like I said, I have a little bit of an impairment. Okay, so we are going to pull, let's pull from close to the bottom of the deck. And it's literally just by chance and what, what comes up. So we have the willow interconnection. 
the willow tree. Okay, I don't know what happened. Somebody don't want you to get this message, but like I was saying, we pulled the willow tree. Some of you may know it as the weeping willow. I can't think of what movie or cartoon, probably several, that this uh, there was a character in that played the weeping willow. But willow, is it says here, interconnection. I'll share with you what I love about the willow tree and what I know about it after I read to you what, what it means. Interconnection. I'll tell you what hermits realize if you go off into a far forest and get very, very quiet, you'll come to understand that you've connected with everything. Alan Watts. Willow bark was the herbal inspiration for aspirin containing the pain relieving and fever reducing compound salicin. It is useful for cases of pain and inflammation, inflammation such as arthritis, headache, stiff joints, and fever. While the white willow is best known in modern medicine, many willow species provide healing. The crack willow and the basket willow of Europe actually contain more salicin. And many American species, such as the common black willow, have been used in Native Americans, have been used by Native Americans. Excuse me. Even the widely cultivated weeping willow native to China has medicinal value. The willow is a border plant often growing along ponds and streams. It is a gateway between what it is a gateway between water, a symbol of the emotions and subconscious earth and subconscious and earth, a symbol for the body. Willow reminds us of the connection between our feelings and our health. Physical pain is a signpost for where we need to focus our healing intention. Author Louise Hay outlines how specific conditions of the body can reflect our inner being, our thoughts, our feelings, and our beliefs. Willow appears, when willow appears, take notice of the physical pain and ask yourself how it may symbolize into a deeper issue. If you're out there going through something and you're hearing this, Where's the pain? Listen, listen to it. It's not there for nothing. Willow branches, willow branches are very pliable and can be used for basket weaving. This also speaks to the interconnection, to the interwoven nature of life. The energy fields of all living things are woven together in a vast web connecting uns connecting us in unseen ways. Very true, we are all connected somehow. Visionary artist Alex Gray depicts such, an energetic, such energetic connections which can be felt through meditation or energy work. Psychic phenomena also support the idea of emotional bonds and tend to possess a strong telepathic connection Yet, ultimately, we are all sparks of the same divine essence, and thus we are, all, we are all one. The more we realize our interconnectedness to all of life, the more we understand our responsibility to keep our words, actions, and even our thoughts positive, which is really hard for some of us, including me. <laughs> Willow asks you to remember that thoughts are powerful things. Focusing on worries, fears, or negativity can pull these things into your life. However, if you choose to make positive connections to the outside world with your thoughts, with your thoughts and feelings, then improved health and life circumstances can be yours. The willow flower essence is used to help a person take full responsibility 
for his or her own life. So this is someone who's been in denial about something. This is you letting you, this is you make, this is like making you look in the mirror, take responsibility for where you are, even in the sickness that you're going through. You did something to lead you here. When we fail to see the interconnectedness of all things, we feel as if life just happens to us rather than acknowledging our part in shaping our circumstances. When we chronically feel victimized and blame others for our bad luck, these destructive emotions become congested in our bodies. Our physical self responds by manifesting stiff and sore joints, rheumatism, rheumatism or pain. Inflamed emotions make for an inflamed, painful body, which are the very symptoms that willow bark treats. The bendable branches of the willow tree remind us to stay flexible, especially with our beliefs. Be open with that. If you've been suffering, see if you can determine which underlying assumptions are at play. The next time you feel hurt by another, Notice your thoughts. Do you automatically assume that the person doesn't like you or that you aren't good enough? Don't do that. It's not always about you. <laughs> Begin to entertain other possibilities, even if you don't believe them. Maybe that person was having an especially bad day, for example. Like I said, it's not always about you. By allowing your mind to produce multiple options, you expand your understanding of reality and move beyond victimhood. You can also work on these issues from a physical direction. Taking up, yoga, taking up a yoga practice is a great way to foster flexibility of the body and the mind. While most of us struggle with negative feelings at one time or another, Drawing willow has yet another meaning. It can herald a new understanding of reality and opening to interconnection. When you learn to tap into the energy grid that connects us all, your perspective becomes limitless, dissolving the personal boundaries and crystallizing the feeling of unity. That's my dog in there shaking it out. <laughs> Complete the res com contemplate the relationships, associations, and interactions between all the people and all the things in your life. This will broaden your perception, allowing for a greater understanding of how you fit into a, this complex web of existence. Interconnectedness. I love, first of all, I love Willow Tree. When I have the herb, I have the tincture. So if you if you need it, go to my Etsy store. If you see if there's something there that you don't like, if you want more, or if it's not what you want, let me know. I'll, I can build something for you. When I tell you this herb is really good to to couple with ginger ginger root, I take it ginger root tincture and the willow willow bark tincture together when I'm having cramps. And I am always amazed at how that combination works. The willow bark takes away the pain and the ginger takes away that nauseous, nasty feeling that you get when you're having cramps and when you're on that time of the month, ladies, those two are powerhouses together. So I hope that this resonated with you. Basically, don't, don't assume that someone is mad at you or that you've done something wrong because someone may have said something to you just in their moment having a bad day. Just back down. Let them have that. Trust me, they will come back around. And then you can let them know, you know, that hurt my feelings. Or you don't have to say anything. Just chalk it up to them having a bad day. So um, I hope this resonated with you. Do, your, do yourself a favor and get outside in nature more often, especially if you're sick. A lot of people are dealing with some form of gout, which is a form of, of arthritis, it's inflammation. All of these sicknesses, especially these joint pains and arthritis and stuff like that, osteoarthritis, rheumatism, gout, all of these are a form of inflammation. 
Definitely check the food you're eating. Get outside in nature. Stay connected to nature, to the people around you who are connected to nature. And pay attention to what's hurting you. Figure out, okay, a lot of times if people are having issues with bronchitis, it's because they have an overbuild of, of, of mucus in the bronchial tubes. Arthritis, inflammation, you know, so it all is connected. And it can be taken care of without a bunch of stiff chemicals from the pharmacy. So I hope this resonated with you. Like I said, don't forget to like this channel, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave, the con leave some comments for me. If you have anything to say, if you've experienced this, if it's your favorite herb or whatever, let me know. I would appreciate it. And until then, I'll see you next time.